Well, let's continue um, uh, our discussion of linear programming with Tableau's pivots and um, uh, pivoting. The linear programming, um, if viewed uh, on a more abstract uh, level than uh, we have been in the previous uh, six parts of this um, uh, series, can be viewed as a uh, uh, linear algebraic operation that uh, starts uh, with the initial tableau. Uh, we will uh, discuss today how that tableau is, uh, uh, can, can be formed, and then uh, um, through um, uh, the pivoting operations um, goes through a um, generates a, a sequence of uh, tableaus. So there is the initial tableau. Then we apply to it a pivoting operation, the first pivoting operation, and uh, we generate um, uh, the second tableau. And uh, yeah, each tableau is just a, a two-dimensional uh, matrix. Uh, called uh, augmented matrix of uh, coefficients uh, obtained from the uh, constraints of the problem. And then once we have uh, uh, the second tableau, uh, we again apply the pivoting uh, operation to generate uh, the third tableau. And uh, uh, we continue um, to choose a pivot and uh, uh, continue generating uh, tableaus until um, uh, we get to the end, uh, and there will be uh, there will be an end. Um, so um, some final uh, tableau, uh, linear, um, uh, so some final two-dimensional matrix uh, uh, n tableau uh, n, and um, once we get to that matrix, uh, either it will give us a solution. So there will be a solution to the linear programming problem that we're trying to sol solve, or uh, there will be no solution. And uh, in this screencast, um, uh, we will uh, talk about uh, two questions that are related to um, linear programming uh, and, sim and the simplex method. Um, first, uh, how to um, set up the initial tableau, uh, the so-called uh, initial tableau formation uh, problem from the set of constraints and the objective function. And the second question is um, how to um, carry out the pivoting operation. So once we have those two, then we can um, uh, discuss and define the simplex method. So um, let's um, consider this problem. So let let me uh, specify this objective function as p equals uh, 10 times x plus 6 times y plus uh, 2 times z. x is greater than or equal to 0, y is uh, greater than or equal to 0, uh, and the constraints are uh, 2x plus uh, uh, 2y plus 3z less than or equal to um, 160, 5x plus y plus 10z uh, less than or equal to um, 100. Okay, and then um, the second problem will set up two initial tableaus. The objective function is um, to be maximized. We're solving maximize, uh, maximization problems. Um, uh, p equals 3x plus uh, 8y plus uh, 6z. Six, six x is greater than or equal to 0. y is greater than or equal to 0. And the constraints are uh, 20 times x plus uh, 4y plus 4 z 
less than or equal to um, 6,000. Um, let me put a comma there so that we can manage zeros better. 8x plus 8y plus 4z less than or equal to um, 10,000 and 8x plus a 4y plus 2z is less than or equal to um, 4,000. Okay, we need two, um, uh, two slack variables for this problem, u and v, one for each constraint. And uh, for this problem on the right, we need uh, three slack variables. So um, the name of the columns um, in the initial tableau are uh, the variables, right, including the slack variables. So the variables are uh, x, y, z, and then we need um, uh, two slack variables. And the last column will be called basic solution, uh, b, s, uh, no pun intended, uh, for short. Um, so, and uh, on the left, uh, we um, uh, put the names of the slack variables. And um, uh, the last row is the, the so-called check row, and it'll be the row corresponding to the objective function. So, um, what do we put uh, in the values, right? Um, uh, in the values of, uh, uh, in, in the rows. Right, as, as the values of each cell. So we put them, and this is the check row for P, uh, we put the coefficients 2, uh, 2, and the first constraint 3, then in the first constraint Y is set to, uh, U is set to 1 and V is set to 0, and um, uh, 160, that's the uh, value on the uh, right of the first constraint, the, the right of the inequality. And in the second row, we put the coefficients uh, of the uh, second uh, constraint, uh, 5, 1, uh, 10, um, 0, 1, uh, and 100. So, um, and um, um, in the check row, we put the negatives of the um, uh, coefficients uh, of the objective function, and uv and the values for the basic solution are set to uh, 0. So uh, the values, this, uh, the values that are not meant, the variables that are not mentioned um, on the left are set to uh, have the zero uh, value. So x, y, and z uh, are uh, have the values of zero in the tableau on the left, whereas u um, uh, has the value of uh, 160 and v has the value of uh, 100. Um, so, and that actually gives us uh, a solution, right? Um, when uh, you, uh, the slack variable, where we're still talking about the tableau on the left has the value of 160 and v has the value of 100, and x, y, and z had the value of 0, uh, the check row, the value in that bottom right um, cell, uh, is 0, because that's the value of the objective function. Okay, in, uh, all right, let, let's go to the uh, right. Um, when we are setting uh, the tableau on the right, um, uh, so the values of uh, um, uh, slack variables are on the left, uh, leftmost, uh, leftmost. Uh, they're the names of the rows, um, and uh, the names of the columns are uh, the variables used in the constraints, including the slack variables. And then uh, this is the first constraint coefficients, uh, 20, 4, 4, and then one zero zero um, one because that's the value of the uh, slack coefficient of the slack variable used for the first constraint, and then uh, uh, v and w are not used uh, on the first constraint, so they, their coefficients are set to zero. Similarly, in the uh, second constraint, um, 
the value of u, uh, the coefficient of u is set to uh, 0, and the coefficient of v is set to 1, and the co coefficient of w is set to uh, 0. And um, that's the value of 10,000 That's the and 6,000. Those are the values um, uh, to the, uh, on the right um, of each inequality. And w are set to, um, uh, okay, uh, the, that's the third constraint, 8, 4, uh, 2, 0, 0, 1. So w is the value of the, the coefficient of the slack variable um, 1, right? Okay, and the check row, the p row, is uh, minus 3, minus 8, minus 6, um, and then 0, 0, uh, 0, 0. Um, so this is p, uh, minus 3. Um, minus 8, minus 6, and then the rest is 0, zeros. Okay, so let's uh, talk about the pivoting operation. We're going to postpone the discussion of how to choose a pivot, um, but uh, the pivot is the value uh, in some uh, in in a column uh, such that we're going to turn that value into one, and the rest of the values and coefficients in in that column uh, will turn into zero. And, uh, so that's a, a, a typical uh, linear algebraic operation. So let's suppose that um, so five is the pivot. So we're going to uh, turn that value uh, into 1 by multiplying the v row by uh, 1 over 5. And then uh, we're going to uh, multiply uh, that row by uh, minus 2 and add uh, to the u row, uh, the first row, and then multiply it by 10 and add to the p row so that um, as the result of uh, uh, this pivoting uh, operation, we will have uh, a 1 uh, for the value in the cell corresponding to the pivot, and then uh, the rest of the values um, in that column will be set to 0. And, well, obviously, um, the other values in the matrix will be, uh, will, will, okay, will, will be different, uh, right, due to uh, addition and uh, the operation of the row addition and, uh, and multiplication. Uh, so, but, okay, uh, um, also there's some, some terminology, uh, x is called the entering variable and v is called the departing variable. So the entering variable is the column variable and it replaces uh, the uh, departing variable on the left. So like basically the variables um, on the left, the row names, uh, are the variables that are allowed to uh, participate, uh, if you will, in the mm, uh, in the basic uh, uh, in the basic solution, right? Eventually, when we're done, the values of the variables um, on the left, the row names, uh, will actually form uh, the solution to the well uh, to the to the uh, maximization uh, problem that we're trying to solve. So, as we start with uh, uh, variables. Uh, x, y, and z equal to 0, and uh, u and v equal to 160 and uh, uh, 100, right? And uh, so we found the pivot, so in the next uh, tableau, uh, after we um, uh, will do the pivot operation, um, x will uh, jump in and v uh, will depart. So, okay, anyway, um, uh, 100 and, uh, well, uh, so now we need to multiply the second row by 1 over 5, um, so, uh, so 1 over 5 times the values in the second row, v row, uh, 1, 1 over 5, 2, 0, 1 over 5, and 20, and uh, now we <coughs> multiply it by minus 2 because we're adding it to uh, uh, the first row uh, or the u row, so minus 2 times 1 um, uh, one fifth of uh, the second row uh, plus the first row uh, will be the value, the new value of the, of the first row. And uh, that um, uh, value will be, let's, let's calculate uh, that, that value. It will be... Um, a 0, right, um, 8 over 5 
minus 1. I'm just doing it simultaneously on a sheet of paper here. So uh, 2 over 5 and um, 120. I'm, I'm just basically uh, summed up. So, um, and then we're going to multiply uh, the second row um, by uh, 10. Um, the second row, okay, one-fifth of the second row by 10 uh, and add it to row 3 and that will be the value, uh, the new value of um, the uh, third row. Um, so this will be 0, right, 10 uh, plus minus 10, then this will be minus 4, uh, this will be uh, 18, 0, 2, and uh, 200. Uh, so uh, this is the um, new um, uh, tableau, uh, x, y, z, u, v, uh, the basic, um, basic solution. Right. Notice that we have u and x. V has departed. Uh, x is the name of the second uh, the uh, second row. And this is the check row. Uh, so well, this will be uh, the value of the first row uh, is going to be zero. Eight over five minus one one uh, minus two over five one hundred and twenty. So this is the first row, so it's minus 2 uh, times 1 over 5 times row 2 plus row 1. Uh, this is going to be the mm, new uh, second row and uh, the value of P, the check row, 0, minus 4, 18, 0, and um, 200. So we have a new basic uh, basic solution. Uh, so u is equal to 120, v is equal to 0, it's not mentioned in the uh, uh, row names, and x is equal to uh, 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 20. So, um, okay, let's um, uh, go through uh, another example of the um, uh, uh, tableau, uh, tableau uh, formation, right? Just, um, okay, the first one is given above. Uh, uh, P uh, is equal to 6x plus 4y, and then there's a set of constraints, so uh, the, the, the tableau has been formed, uh, the initial tableau has been formed. And, um, uh, okay, um, the um, tableau for the problem below, where the objective function is P equal, uh, equals uh, 2x plus 3y plus, um, plus z, uh, and the constraints are given on the right, so the uh, column uh, names are x, y, z, u, v, w on the um, column for the basic solution, u, v, uh, w, p. So the coefficients um, the first constraint 5, 0 coefficient, well uh, y is not uh, a variable mentioned in the first constraint, so z is 1, u is 1, v 0, w 0, and um, uh, the value to the right of the first constraint inequality, uh, v is 0, 1, 3, 0, 1, 0, and then 300, w is um, 2 minus 1, 1, uh, 0, 0, 1, and 900, and the values of the check rows are just the negatives of um, the coefficients of the variables and p, and then 0 for the rest. Minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, and then 0, 0, 0, 0 for zeros. Okay, well, this is to be continued.